It's Friday Coffee with your mortgage man, Eric. And here we go. So today we're gonna to talk about credit scores. What do they mean? Do I have a good credit score? Look, some people that like to talk about credit score usually have the better credit scores. I like to tell everybody how high their credit score is, which they should be proud of, right? Those that don't, don't usually like to talk about credit scores. So that kind of leaves them alienated, not understanding what their score means. Is it high, is it low, is it mid-grade, right? That type of thing. So taking out of this, I want you to keep in mind this abbreviation, LLPA. And we're gonna to get to this kind of later in depth into this video. LLPA means Loan Level Pricing Adjustments. Keep that in mind, LLPA. So let's start with the FHA loan. And we're gonna move into the more important topic for the day, which is conventional loans, but we have to start with a base, which is FHA. And why are we doing this? Well, because we're in a refinance boom, interest rates keep dropping, your home equity uh, is going up substantially and doing so in a quickly manner, thus allowing you as the consumer a place where you could refinance, maybe out of your FHA into a conventional loan, possibly removing your monthly mortgage insurance as well. So. There usually is a coming to Jesus conversation with some of the potential refinance prospects that we have. And what I mean by that is this, FHA. Like I said, we're gonna start with FHA. So FHA, we put you into an FHA loan one, two, three, maybe even five years ago, right? And it's because usually lack of down payment and or credit scores were on the lower end of things. So in FHA world, the best credit score, uh, the greatest score that you can have is above 660, right? If you got a 660 credit score, woo, the clouds are parting, right? Um, you have a wonderful score. That's the best, you, you can't get a better rate. A 660 score gets you the same rate as a 760 score in an FHA and a VA loan. Keep that in mind. So if you have just been over the 660 score, one, two, three, five years ago, um, you may not have the best score now for conventional. So what, what's happening is people are coming back to the table, inquiring about a refinance. Hey, I heard I can get into a conventional loan now, but you still have the 660 scores. There's gonna be a problem. Look again, 660 scores, FHA, fantastic in credit scores, right? It gets you into the down payment assistance programs as well. So if you needed help with the down payment assistance, yes, that technically starts at a 640, but you only get part of the down payment at 640. Plus 660 is that kind of that pinnacle, the benchmark score you wanna to get to. Yes, you can buy a home with a lower than 640, 660 scores, absolutely. But like I'm saying, the pinnacle, the greatest score you could have for FHA, getting you the best of the best is a 660. Now, let's flip the script. 660 in a conventional loan is a, is a poor score. You're at the lower end of the spectrum and you may not even be able to get an automated underwriting approval. What that means is basically we enter all of your information, data input, everything, run, hit the button, run the automated system, and you may not get an approval. It has to tell us on the screen if you're approved or not. From there, other things happen as well, but just to put it in perspective, 660 may not even get you into the ballpark for the conversation. And one of the reasons behind this is the LLPA, the loan level pricing adjustments. So for example, let's say you have a 688 credit score, which again, in FHA world is a fantastic score. Conventional, that's you're middle of the group, right? You're middle of the crowd, man, middle of the road. That's just an average credit score. 708, that's an average credit score. But I made it over 700, Eric. Yes, but it's average. Over 740 gets you the best of the best. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the tiers and the graphs, the graphs up front on the loan level pricing adjustment. So you can kind of see this firsthand, what it means, and that should dial it in a little bit better for you. So any lending institution, broker, banker, FDIC, it doesn't matter. This is a an industry-wide conversation and situation. 
If you are lending conventional conforming Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac products, you have to adhere to their tiered system, the LLPA, the Loan Level Pricing Adjustment System. Us in the industry, we refer to this as tiers or buckets to make it put into layman's terms. Which bucket are you in? Are you in the 720 to 739 bucket, 740 and above? Are you in the 680 to 699 bucket? And they are extremely important because a 688 credit score is not going to get the same interest rate as a 748. It's just not going to happen. So what's happening out there is that because we're in a refinance boom, again, the some of the shadier type of outfits are coming out of the woodworks again and quoting people without even having the proper information to quote people. There's 17 different components that come into play when quoting someone an accurate interest rate. Now tell me, if you click two or three boxes online, do they have enough information to give you an, an interest rate quote? No, they don't. So it's kind of, look, you heard the term bait and switch. That is back again because of the refinance boom and the refinance type of online you know, lenders that are out there, unfortunately. So understanding your credit score is going to give you a better understanding of what to expect if you're looking at refinancing or you're possibly even just purchasing using conventional loan programs instead of FHA. So if you have a 740 credit score and above, as I mentioned, you have the best of the best that you can get in the lending industry for conventional loans. Um, and I'm going to show this to you just in a bit. Let's do that now. So take a look at this graph, okay? Over here is your credit scores. Up top is your loan to values or the amount of equity that you have in the home, okay? Like 95 to 97, that means you got three to 5% equity in your home. And you can see what we call the hits right? 1%, 2%. They are hits. Cost. That is how much it cost you to be in that bucket or tier, right? So you can see you can potentially have a conventional loan down to a 620. You see how costly it becomes. Now, let me show you this because we're getting this as well. People that have uh, equity and they want to do some cash out refi. See, this is a cash out refi. So look at your tiers and your buckets again and how much that costs. So you got a 688 credit score and you want to do an 80% cash out refinance, your interest rate's going to be in the fives. Well, that's ridiculous. I can't believe that. I see a rate online that's 4%. Yeah, read the fine print online. Like I said, the scam artists are back out again. They're usually 30% down payment with a 740 and above credit score, right? Purchase transactions only with 2% discount points. I mean, I'm telling you, there's a lot of that stuff that's going on anymore. So hopefully this video kind of shows you the differences between FHA credit scores and conventional credit scores or what they mean or how they're graded between the two different programs and the kind of interest rate that is given to you for having the better or lower credit score. So yes, it is absolutely very important to have credit scores in, in all forms of life. If you have a higher credit score, you're going to get lower homeowners insurance premiums. You'll get more lower mortgage insurance premiums as well and monthly mortgage insurance. You will get benefits uh, for having high credit scores. And I think we all know that, but I think most people kind of try to ignore it because it's a pain in the rear, right? And trying to grade it and, well, hey, I got a $2,000 credit card and I put $2,000 on it and my scores dropped 60 points and I was reading it on Credit Karma, right? And we have this thing called life that happens to us. We don't live in a bubble. We don't live in a laboratory. We all understand that. But just trying to give you a little bit of information so you can know what to expect and what is my credit score and is that a good credit score and at the end of this 
if you have any interest in getting a better credit score, I work with a phenomenal credit repair, credit restoration company that I would refer you to. And we'll allow them to fix it. And look, it doesn't happen overnight. Those that say they can fix it in 30 days, it doesn't happen. Those that say they can do it on their own typically doesn't happen either, right? We usually let a mechanic change you know things wrong with our car right we usually hire a carpenter to do woodwork we usually hire a plumber to put in a water heater right etc etc so allow a professional to get your credit scores up and take the benefits of the best interest rates you can possibly get in this market with that said it's friday coffee your mortgage man eric 602-757-2171 see you